So that's why I'm here at OC and in general studies. Um, she is also my teacher. She has taught me how to stay in the present. I'm always worrying about what's going to happen next or whatever. Um, she has also taught me an enormous amount of patience. I wasn't a very patient person before I was a mother. And um, she's really taught me what it means to love unconditionally. Oscar Wilde is my favorite author. I actually named my daughter after a character in one of his plays. Um, and so my, one of my favorite quotes is, to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people just exist. Um, before I had my daughter, um, like I said, I was just out partying, drinking, smoking tons of weed. Um, so I was really just existing. I had no purpose. And um, she's really the person who's taught me how to live. Um, getting emotional, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, and then um, another quote, um, live. Live the wonderful life that is in you. Let nothing be lost upon you. Always be searching for new sensations. Be afraid of nothing. This is something that I try to live by every day, um, especially when I step foot onto this campus. I always try to be open to new experiences um, and try to learn all that I can and try not to let my fear, like public speaking, get in the way. And this is my gratitude jar that I told you guys about in the beginning of the year. Um, each morning before I do anything, before I have my coffee, um, I sit down and I reflect on what I'm grateful for. So I just write it down and drop it in there. And when it's full, I um, <coughs> take it all out and I read everything. It really helps me become a more positive and a happier person. Because I used to like really have like chip on my shoulder pretty bad. <laughs> all right, my favorite topics um, that we covered in general studies um, were the weekly assessments. Um, I felt like this exercise was a really helpful tool. Um, I was able to take a moment before class and reflect on things I did well and the things that I needed to address and change. Um, on the weeks that I felt like I did really well, I just treated it as an extension of my gratitude jar, um, which helps me stay positive and focused and really centered. Um, my SMART goal, um, I have a hard time participating in class, so I made my 32-day SMART goal to participate more often in class, and it actually helps me to become more confident and participate in my other classes, which I feel like helps with the whole learning experience and make me more successful as a student. Um, also, the note-taking, I had no idea there were so many different styles of note-taking, and when we practiced them, um, it was great. It really helped me be able to study for my tests because I honestly, I would write things down in class but I would never look at them. Or they were not legible, so they didn't do me any good. And my challenges and struggles um, before I came to general studies is time management. I waste a lot of time. On what? I really didn't know. So when we did the, um, the activity log um, of our day, I realized that um, I'm not very productive with my time. So that helps me change my ways. Um, also, financial literacy, I am terrible with money. And so the eating on a budget um, 
really helped me see that spending money on things that I don't really need, like raw coconut water. Um, so that helped me um, put my spending into perspective. And also um, emotional intelligence, something that I've really struggled with. Um, I really enjoy doing the, um, the self-assessment in the beginning and the end of the quarter and um, seeing how those scores differ. Um, in the beginning of the quarter, it really helps me realize that um, that I may be grateful every day, but I'm not as self-aware as I thought I was. So um, that helps me make changes and um, adjust those things. And that's it at the end. <laughs>